In order to use your mini PCR Bio Blue Gel Electrophoresis System, you'll need to pour agarose gels. Mini PCR Bio provides three options for pouring gels all in one agarose tabs, plain agarose tabs, or agarose powder. This video will cover how to create gels using plain agarose tabs. You can find links to videos on the other two methods in the description below. First, you'll want to ensure that you have an appropriate quantity of TBE buffer to run and pour your gels. You will need 25 milliliters of buffer to make each gel and 30 milliliters of buffer to run each gel. TBE powder from Mini PCR Bio makes buffer preparation simple. For most classrooms, the 5.1 gram container of TBE powder, which makes 600 milliliters of TBE buffer, enough for 10 blue gel runs, is sufficient. Combine the TBE buffer powder with distilled water and mix until dissolved. It can take up to 15 minutes for the powder to dissolve, but you can stir or gently heat the solution to help the powder dissolve more quickly. TBE buffer can be stored at room temperature for at least three months when stored in a closed container. Before pouring your gel, you want to set up your gel casting platform. Place the clear gel tray into the white casting platform. Place the comb in the notches of the platform at the end of the gel tray. For users new to pipetting, we recommend placing the larger side of the comb with fewer teeth down. If you need more wells in your gel, you can add a second comb to the second set of notches. Now that the casting platform is set up and we have our TBE buffer, we can make our gel. In this example, we will be making a 2% agarose gel. Each agarose tab is 0.5 grams of pre-weighed agarose. To cast a 2% gel, add one tab to 25 milliliters of TBE buffer in a container with at least 100 milliliters capacity. You can find detailed instructions on adapting agarose tabs to pour gels of other percentages in the description below. Let the tab soak until it breaks up and then swirl until it is fully disintegrated. Heat in a microwave for 60 seconds or until the solution boils. Keep an eye on it to make sure it doesn't boil over. Swirl using a heat proof mitt to make sure that the solution is well mixed. Make sure that all of the agarose crystals have dissolved. If agarose crystals remain, microwave for another five to 10 seconds, then check again. You can also use a hot plate if a microwave is not available, but this will take longer. Ensure that the agarose tab has broken up before heating. Once your agarose solution is dissolved, add one microliter of a fluorescent DNA stain, like sea green or gel green, for every 10 milliliters of gel. Here, because we made a 25 milliliter gel, we will add 2.5 microliters of fluorescent DNA stain and swirl to mix. Once you've prepared the agarose solution, pour it into the assembled gel casting tray. You can pour the agro solution immediately into the tray. You do not need to wait for it to cool. The gel will set in about 10 minutes. Once cooled, it should feel firm like jello. Now you're ready to remove the combs and load your gel into your electrophoresis box. If you want to store your gels to run at a later time, you can prepare gels up to five days in advance. Wrap your prepared gels in plastic wrap or place them in an airtight container and store at room temperature, protected from light, for up to five days. Gels should not be stored submerged in buffer. To learn more about each method of pouring gels meant for the Blue Gel Electrophoresis System, you can visit minipcr.com.